What if I told you that you can start live streaming yoga classes quickly without spending a ton of money on gear? Well, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the seven essentials that you need to do just that. Let's dive in. For most of you, starting with what you have is your best bet. We all know that computers can get really expensive, but luckily for us, most laptops are capable of hosting a live stream. Just know that the more processing power you have, the better off you'll be. If your computer tends to freeze or run slow during even basic tasks, then it might be time to upgrade. I know it might not sound cheap, but you can buy a basic MacBook Air for only $1,000. That's a great price for a reliable device that should last you many, many years. My wife is still using a MacBook Air we bought for her in 2014 and it works just fine. And the ones they make now are even better than that. If you really wanna look at more affordable options, then a simple Google search for the best affordable laptops will likely lead you to a Chromebook. But be careful here, as many Chromebooks lack the processing power that you'll need and they often don't have very large hard drives, which can be an issue for people working with video files. HP sells some decent laptops in the range of $500 to $750 that have more than enough processing power and storage to be perfect for your needs. Now to talk about cameras, we need to change our scenery for just a minute. There we go, that's better. So, did you know that you can use your smartphone as a webcam? Well, you can, and the image actually looks better than you might expect. In fact, there's a software called Camo that makes this possible, and you can get a lifetime license to use it for less than $100, or you can pay for it monthly at only $5. You simply download their app on your phone, download their desktop software on your computer, plug your smartphone into your laptop, and you can be up and running in no time. So you can spend a bunch of money on a nice camera, a few hundred dollars on a high-end webcam, or you can spend $5 a month and use the camera on your phone. Wow. This means that if you've got a tight budget or you don't wanna shell out a bunch of money for an expensive camera, this is the perfect place to start. I'm actually using my iPhone 13 Pro as my camera right now, and it looks great. If you prefer a dedicated camera, you could spend about $200 for the Elgato Face Cam, which is a relative newcomer to the market that's blowing people away with its pro-grade lens and impressive image quality. All right, let's head back to the studio. In order to have a successful live stream, you need your camera feed to be live, which means you need to be able to connect your camera to your computer. If you go with something like the Elgato face cam, you'll be all set because it comes with a USB cable to make that connection. If you opt to use your smartphone with the Camo app, you'll need a cable that's compatible with both your phone and your computer. For an iPhone, that likely means a USB to lightning connection. And for Android devices, it depends on the device, but it's likely a USB to USB-C or something very similar. If you've got a DSLR or mirrorless camera, then you'll likely need a capture card to convert the video single into your computer. The Elgato CamLink 4K is what I use, and it's perfect for connecting my nice camera to my laptop for live streaming. A lot of microphone recommendations out there, specifically for yoga teachers, are not good. That's because the recommendations are often for shotgun microphones, which are great for when the subject talking is directly in front of the microphone. But if you're going to be further away and moving around in your video, then the audio quality will be poor and it will end up picking up a lot of room noise and echo. You don't want a podcast type microphone for that exact same reason. For someone like yourself who will be practicing and teaching yoga on a live stream, you're going to need a microphone that's a little bit more versatile. Ultimately, your absolute best option is to use a wireless lavalier microphone like this one that you can wear while leading your live yoga classes. This is an area I'm going to encourage you not to skimp on. Good quality audio makes such a big difference in your videos and viewers hate bad audio and they're absolutely gonna let you know about it. So if you can stomach it, I'd recommend looking into the Rode Wireless Go 2. It's an incredible microphone kit that's extremely versatile and only costs about $300. The first edition of the microphone, the Rode Wireless Go, is available for just under $200. You can go for that and save some money, but if you can afford it, I really think the Rode Wireless Go 2 is worth the extra money. The kit comes with two transmitters and one receiver, and it actually has a microphone built into it as well as a clip. So you can simply clip it to your shirt, as I've seen many creators do, or I've actually even seen some yoga instructors who clip it to their sports bra underneath their shirt to hide it from view. While you can use it without a lapel microphone attached, you can buy the Rode Lavalier Go for $80, and that looks a little bit bit more professional, it sounds a little bit better, 
and will be super reliable. Like I mentioned, the Rode Wireless Go 2 system comes with two transmitters and one receiver. So if you wanted, you could have someone join you on camera for your live stream and ensure that they have great audio as well. You can plug the receiver directly into your laptop, but you may need an adapter depending on your computer. But then you've got high quality audio for your live stream that moves with you. You can use this microphone kit in a physical studio as well if you lead in-person classes. You can actually get a headset microphone that's compatible with this transmitter put it on your ear, put this on your waist, and you have perfect audio in your studio and for your live streams. If you're finding this video helpful so far, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss future helpful videos from our team. You're going to need a couple of important things here. Well, I guess three if you're gonna end up using the Camo app for your webcam. First, you need a viewing platform where people can watch your live streams, whether it's YouTube, Twitch, social media, or Zoom, or your own platform like something you could build with Uscreen, you'll need a place for people to gather to watch your stream. You'll also need software to help you manage your live stream on the back end. This software will allow you to manage who's on your stream, what content is being shown, and add graphics or other elements to make your stream look more professional. Your first option is OBS, a free software to help Help you do these things. It's very popular and pretty customizable, but there is also a bit of a learning curve. This means it might be a good option for the cost conscious, but you'll need to invest some time to learn and get comfortable using the software. Two other great options are StreamYard and Restream. Both are incredible platforms and they both offer a free version. However, the free version will have a branded watermark on all of your videos, but I think it's worth paying one of the very reasonable monthly subscription prices in order to remove that branding. Both platforms have great features and make it super easy to host your live stream, invite people to join you on your stream, upload and add graphics, monitor your chat, and more. I cannot recommend them highly enough. Something else to consider is that if you're going to be leading your yoga classes live on camera, then managing the streaming software yourself might be one too many things to juggle at once. It might be worth getting a friend to help you run the streaming software so that you can focus on teaching yoga and answering questions that come in through the live chat. I've got one more thing we need to talk about, but first, I wanna pass the microphone off to you. What questions do you have about the setup and our recommendations? I'd love to answer any of those questions in the comments below. When I first started streaming, I didn't realize that my internet upload speeds were only about 15 megabits per second. So every time that I tried to live stream, my connection crashed. Milano. I went to join this and start this and my internet just died. It's funny now, but when it happens to you, it's a little bit soul crushing. Hello darkness, my old friend. You need upload speeds of at least 25 megabits per second for a smooth, reliable stream. Shop around and find the best rates for the best speeds. I now have access to much faster upload speeds and no longer have issues with my connection, and we want that for you too. You'll notice I didn't mention lighting in this video, but that's because I've got two videos on that exact topic on this channel already. So be sure to watch the video over there for my recommendations for lighting equipment, and then watch the video recommended after that on how to set up your lights to get the best effect. Effect. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.